This is a demonstration of Hillstone ransomware protection. According to the Cisco 2017 Annual Cybersecurity Report, ransomware is growing at a yearly rate of 350%. IBM Security reported 40% of all spam emails contain ransomware links. Cybersecurity Ventures reports global ransomware damage in 2017 exceed $5 billion, up from $325 million in 2015. IBM Security found 70% of businesses impacted by ransomware paid over $10,000 to regain access to business data and systems. To illustrate the full power of the Hillstone Intelligent Next Generation Firewall's ransomware defense, we've laid out the steps of typical ransomware exploit, followed by a detailed description of how Hillstone Intelligent Next Generation Firewall can detect and mitigate the threat at any stage. Ransomware takes a few steps to get the job done. In the first stage, Optimized AV checks the email attachment and stops it if it's known, or uploads it to the cloud sandbox if it's an unknown malicious file. In the second stage, if a victim opens the email and executes the infected attachment, the AV, IPS, and reputation databases still have a chance to stop it by checking malicious URLs or malware signatures. If the infection isn't detected, a command and control connection will be initiated. The ransomware will be detected by the DGA algorithm as a last resort. With its sophisticated layered defense, multiple robust threat detection engines, and targeted threat correlation capabilities, Hillstone INGFW can detect and mitigate ransomware at every stage of its threat trajectory. This is a demonstration of ransomware protection. First, let's go to Policy and modify the existing policy to enable antivirus and the cloud sandbox. Then, in the security zone, let's enable abnormal behavior detection in threat protection. Now, let's run Locky Ransomware. Permutate is a tool that creates a new variant of the existing PE file. It basically scrambles it. A new variant has been created. Now, let's check for MD5. They are indeed different. On the client, we're going to try to download those two files. This is the old Locky ransomware. We can see the transfer is blocked. Now on the firewall, we go to Monitor. We see that a log has been generated by the antivirus module. The Locky ransomware has been detected and blocked. Let's go back to the client and try to download the new variant. You can see the file copy went through and the antivirus failed to catch the virus. Since it's an unknown file, the module sent it to the Cloud Sandbox for detection. After about 30 seconds, you will see the return of the Cloud Sandbox and that it actually caught the malware. On the client, you can execute the file and see that the ransomware is trying to connect to the CNC on the Internet. On the firewall, do a refresh, and you can see that the firewall caught the CNC connections by the Abnormal Behavior Detection Engine and flagged them as suspicious. Let's go to iCenter and take a detailed look at the two logs detected by the ABD engine. We find that they are actually accessing the malicious DGA domains. Now let's go back to the client and try to re-download the malware's new variant. We see that this time it gets blocked. Now let's go back to the firewall and look at the logs again. We can see the sandbox immediately caught the malware. This is because the first time the firewall sent the file to the sandbox, the sandbox didn't recognize it and needed time to determine whether it's malware. It needed to go through the sandbox process. The connection was not blocked and the file was downloaded, but after the sandbox identified it as malware, it put the MD5 into its cache. When the malware came through a second time, it was immediately blocked. Thank you for watching this demonstration of the Hillstone Intelligent Next Generation Firewall.